Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be talking about the American that was arrested for murder and has supposedly confessed to murdering his two kids in Rosarito Beach, Mexico, which is down about 30 minutes south of Tijuana, Mexico. His name is Matthew Taylor Coleman out of Santa Barbara, California. Apparently, he's 40 years old and he owned a surf school in Santa Barbara, California, and he was an alumni of Point Loma Nazarene University in San Diego, California. Now, the reports that I'm getting from Mexico and being down here is what happened is Mr. Coleman took his kids, he had a two-year-old and he had a 10-month-old, and he took these kids, one boy and one girl, down to Rosarito Beach, Mexico, crossed the border with them, checked into the City Express Hotel around 2.40 in the morning. Now. He left the hotel, and they have surveillance cameras of him checking in and leaving the hotel with the children. He comes back to the hotel around 7.30, 7.40 in the morning, according to news reports, and he's by himself. At this point, shortly thereafter, he leaves, he drives back to the border, and attempts to re-enter the United States, where he's subsequently arrested by Customs and Border Protection. Now, the reason why he was arrested is because they found the bodies, a farm worker found the bodies of his kids abandoned in a ditch. And they apparently had multiple stab wounds. Um, and they're saying it was done by a spear fishing gun is what reports are saying. Now, so the Mexican authorities alerted the American authorities at the border to be on the lookout for this guy. So he crosses the border, he's arrested, he's taken into custody by the feds. Now, here's something else, too, for you guys that are just wondering what's going to happen, how this process is going to play out. Because he is an American citizen, even though he committed a crime in Mexico, allegedly, and he's already supposedly confessed to this crime, but I don't want to say it's like 100% that he did it just yet, because we all know there's no videotape of it yet, like there was in the Logan Kelly case. Logan Kelly, if you haven't heard, was the American former college basketball player a couple of months ago who killed a stripper in Tijuana. He actually sliced her throat and videos all over the internet. It's clear as day. It was him that did it. The Polaroid don't lie, okay? It is what it is. Now, in this case right now, we, we don't have any video, but we know that the kids are dead. We, and we know that he has supposedly confessed to these crimes to the U.S. authorities. So what's going to happen here is... This guy's in federal custody right now, and because he's an American citizen, even though he's been charged in Mexico as well, and those kids were American citizens, he is actually gonna be tried for this crime in the United States. The United States law allows an American citizen to be tried for murders that were committed in other countries, as long as the victims of those countries were also American citizens. So he's in the feds, He's going to be tried. I really don't have any more details right now, guys, but I will bring them to you as soon as possible. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what's going on. Don't like doing videos like this, but I feel that every time an American is a part of a high-profile case in Mexico, it's my job to report it to you guys because I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't matter if you watch Fox or you watch CNN. A lot of times, Mexico doesn't get fair coverage, and they certainly always want to report things when things happen in the United States by Mexican citizens, but they really don't want to report things that American citizens do in Mexico, okay? So no matter your political view or whatever, I'm just here to convey some information. And the thumbnail photograph was a photograph of the guy that did this, and I'm gonna pull this up right here on my phone. I apologize for not having my story together more than I do, but I've been working all day, and this is kind of an impromptu video, just so you can see. But that's him. That's the guy right there. All right, guys, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done it. Remember, like, subscribe my channel. Any questions you have about Mexico, I'm an American that's lived in Mexico for the last 17 years. Be happy to help you guys with any questions you have, whether it's about the red light district or beaches, bars, whatever it is, tourism. I'm here to help you guys out. See ya.